now. Alright. So we're gonna head into battle! And there's gonna be lots of angsty tutorial bullshit to go through, I'm sure. But I'm gonna get this battle done quick. You know, I don't like to spend a lot of time on like the first mission, so. A paw full of feathers. So these are the chocobos. We're just talking about the chocobos. They're way bigger than you imagined. Yeah, my dick was way bigger than your mom. No, that's me. I can't. That's me in this game. I just realized that. Oh god. That, that's just weird. Okay. <laughs> so now you see the chocobos look over and you know, oh shit, it's about to go down. Hear the wolves howl. And uh, two wolves. Well, they look really fucking weird, but they're wolves. And the goblin are gonna come out, and those are gonna be our enemies. Not too hard, because they're all like level 2 as well, most likely. And now we're gonna bring in our party, we're gonna deploy up. So, objective defeat all foes. Forbidden is fire. They might. I think there's some tutorial stuff about laws here. Yeah, here we go. I read through this really fast. It's just like. You follow. It's not like you go to jail or get fined, like in FFTA 1. Um. When you break a law, you will lose your clan privilege, which I'll explain about in a second. And you will also lose your uh, ability to revive people with stands. So I realized because of fucking Sid, I can't have my whole team here. So I decided to leave Monty behind. Even though Monty's really cool and Monty's like gonna be one of my favorites in the future, uh, he doesn't have any skills, so he's gonna be kind of lackluster. So here's our privilege. I'm just gonna go with Luck too. I don't know why not. Um, speed one is pretty good, actually. The speed up ones I like a lot to get more turns. But um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, luck two, you know, is two. <laughs> Rest for one, so I would assume it's worth a bit more. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. So first, this enemy's turn. They're gonna move right down here, right into like danger. So we're gonna send some kind of furry up to the side here to get a nice flank shot on that. And she will be vulnerable to the goblin. But I'm looking ahead on my thing, and I'm seeing. Yeah, I'm gonna have turns before that golem. That golem's probably the slowest thing out here. I'm gonna be able to protect her. So I'm gonna hit that with a nice flank shot. The other wolves now are gonna come down, but it's not gonna be able to do much this uh, little round of actions. So I'm gonna move my thief up here and go for another flank attack. Actually, I'm gonna steal. So stealing's not as good as it was in FFTA 1, where like you'd steal all their weapons and shit. You can only steal like accessories and loot, but it's still good in like Gil. So I'm gonna go for the steal there, actually miss. So whatever, I just wanted to show you guys how steel mechanics work. And now, fucking Sid, the guy who ruins everything, is gonna go, and he's gonna kill himself. Not kill himself, he's gonna hurt himself to hurt the enemy. But it's fine, because I'm not healing him now that I have, like, a real party. He can do what he want, and go be self-destructive. I done Kurt. So, I'm actually gonna move my warrior up here to protect my archer, and just face that goblin. I know the goblin can't do much with the frontal assault. And I'm gonna move myself over to attack that wolf on the side. And I'm thinking, I've been a damage fluctuation and take it out. And I get the damage fluctuation by one point like I needed, but it's the wrong way. <laughs> so I uh, I can't kill that wolf. He's gonna get an action. I'm just gonna wait with my white mage, because I know the goblin's gonna attack my guy, and then that way my white mage turn is right after him. You guys won't see the top screen probably. But my white mage just turn when I wait again is right after. So he comes up again and now I can heal that damage off right away. That's really helpful, because the goblin attacks can actually get pretty powerful. I'm not sure what it actually does, but I'm pr I'm pretty sure it's stronger than a regular attack, at least by a little. So, now that guy with like two fucking HP is going to go and attack me. Uh, he's going to die soon, but it is annoying. Like, at a later stage in the game, I have counter on people, right? And so, uh, if they did attack me like that, they get taken out. But I don't, obviously, at this point. Now, I'm gonna take my warrior here, and move around that guy's backside, and smack him in the ass with my sword. 30 damage, this guy's jacked. Alright, Ted. Alright, so now some kind of furry's gonna go to his side, and she's gonna attack him in the flank as well, getting some good damage on that goblin. <laughs> and then Bill's turn's gonna come up here. Let's just use Bill to steal. Like, why not? Maybe get some money, see how much money I can expect to get at this stage in the game. I don't know, that's not bad. That's like three potions or a weapon or some shit. I don't usually use items much, but I want to promote good play on this LP, so I will, uh... I won't be using the Blitzkrieg type of all-out offensive maneuvers I tended to use in my regular places. And now Sid's gonna tap and he's gonna retreat 
so that wolf can just w run through and attack fat ass. I don't want fat ass to die, so I'm gonna finish off that one wolf, but the other one still, I'm not gonna be able to really block that other one. I'm gonna face towards that guy. I probably could have moved, but I wasn't thinking at the time. But now, he's gonna come up and smack fucking Bill for 40 damage, and I'm like, whoa! <laughs> It's a lot, man. Uh, I don't know how that happened. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Nami White Mage fat ass to heal off some of that damage right away. Cause that's a lot of damage. 40 damage for this, uh, this early in the game. And now let's get Bill behind that guy, get some revenge. I'm just gonna attack. He's done stealing at this point. I'm gonna try and bring these guys down, finish off the fight. He doesn't do bad damage. He was an archer before and he's only level two. But yeah, because of Sid and the fact that I have to deal with other shit, if Sid had stayed there, he wouldn't have been able to attack my Namu. Uh, whatever. Because he did expose his rear. Lol. Surprise butt sex. And I champ. And I, I slam my sword up his anus and I almost kill him. Move my warrior up, get the flank attack on the goblin. Fucking, uh. Ted helping out Bill like good best friend should. Alright, and then I'm gonna go use my archer attack at this diagonal here. I'm not sure if it was technically flank or rear, but it's a good safe shot. And I get the crit! Nice! That's where luck 2 came through for me. Pick up some loot, take him out, some kind of furry. You are a good archer. And now, Sid the asshole who ruins everything is gonna come in and save the day and finish that wolf up. And that should be the end of the battle, actually. That was, uh, it's a good, good show of tactics, in my opinion. We did pretty well. No, uh, no real damage incurred, and we finished the mission in a pretty good time. So yeah, the first real mission, all done. Uh, people are gonna level up. I don't know who those people are, since I know them by their nicknames. We got some decent stuff. We don't need metal knuckles for a while, but silken robe, that's gonna be nice on our white mage, probably. Like, those, that's a not bad bonus. Bonuses get tend to get more and more lackluster the farther you get, but at the beginning, more items is more items, right? It's uh, more possibility, especially when you don't have that much stuff because you haven't crafted that much. And, um, yeah, so they're just talking about plot here. You guys can read it while I talk if you want. They just discover the journals, like, in the top screen. You guys can't see the top screen, but it's all about the story. Like, that'll fill out. Um, basically, most loot doing and uh, people equipping. I'm probably gonna do off screen from now on and I'll just focus more on doing the battles and quests if you guys don't mind that. Because I think I've showed you how it works and you guys don't need me to go ahead and sort through all the loot and shit. It's not, it's not important. Also, I never sell loot. That's an important thing to note. I will never sell loot unless I unlock everything and even then when you unlock everything, there's stuff that you have to build, and then buy once and build again before you can buy them again. So, I could make decent money. We get teamwork adaptability up, we get snakes and tiny mushrooms, fresh water, ADAP, we master some abilities. What those are, we'll have to find out next time. Uh, thank you for watching this. I uh, hope you guys had fun. I'll see you guys next time. You know, LPs are a banquet, and most poor suckers are starving to death. So watch mine, faggots.